Cruise News, Virgin Voyages has made an alarming mistake on its current transatlantic voyage. I'm going to get you the details on that. Plus, I have the top 10 cruise news updates from across the cruise industry, and I'm going to get you the information fast coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. All right, let's go ahead and kick this off with number one, four Carnival cruisers have been arrested for credit card fraud. The passengers were on last week's Carnival Celebration sailing. Here is a picture of the famous four. I am putting their names, ages, and hometowns next to their pictures. It turns out that they were running up charges on credit cards that did not belong to them throughout the cruise. When the credit cards were denied and they were unable to produce a physical copy of the card, they were flagged and ultimately arrested during the debarkation process. Dominic Howard was the biggest spender. He ran up a bill of nearly $20,000 on the cruise. The others had fraudulent charges ranging between $2,700 and $12,000. And next, we have the first of a few updates with Celebrity Cruises. Number two, Celebrity Cruises has taken delivery of their newest ship, the Celebrity Ascent. This is Celebrity's fourth ship in the Edge series. This ship is the cruise line's most innovative yet, and it will be the first to have brothers as co-captains. The Celebrity Ascent is on track to make its debut in Fort Lauderdale on December 3rd. Then, number three, Celebrity Cruises has announced the name for the fifth ship in their Edge series. The new ship will be called the Celebrity Excel. Details have not yet been released about this ship, but the cruise line president said that this ship will outshine her sister ships with entirely new experiences. The Celebrity Excel is scheduled to debut in November of 2025. It will also spend its inaugural season offering cruises from Fort Lauderdale. Those cruises are now open for booking. Moving on to number four, Royal Caribbean has revealed the new entertainment that will debut on the Icon of the Seas. The Icon will have 75 performers and 50 live musicians and comedians for entertainment. Now, Kelly and I will be on the inaugural sailing in January, and I am very excited about the entertainment. Here are five shows that caught my eye. The first is a show called Aqua Action. It's going to have Olympic level high divers, skateboarders, aerialists, slackliners, and synchronized swimmers. So that just sounds like it's going to be action packed, so that should be fun. They're also going to have a show called Pirates vs. Mermaids. They're going to battle it out to see who rules the sea. And then if you like theater shows, they're going to have The Wizard of Oz. They're going to be the first cruise line ever to have that. Of course, it's going to have a little bit of a modern twist, but that should be really interesting. And they are going to have a new eye show. It is called Starburst Elemental Beauty. And if you have never cruised with Royal Caribbean, their eye shows are amazing. And then the fifth show of the new entertainment list for the icon that really caught my eye is called Once Upon a Time, The King's Royal Ball. And this is a show that is made for the younger cruisers and for families. And it just sort of takes a nostalgic ride through all of the different fairy tale superstars and all of that, but that should be fun also. Now, of course, they're going to have a lot more going on than just that. But look, it is a seven-night cruise, and they have all of this new entertainment to scout out and see what it's like. Look, it will be an action-packed cruise on the Icon. Then number five, there has been a lot of discussion regarding how long dinner should be in the main dining room. Evidently, there have been quite a few Carnival Cruise Line cruisers reach out to brand ambassador John Hill. And they have been expressing that they would like to be able to get in and out of the main dining room in an hour or less. John Hill asked his readers and had over 28,000 responses to a poll. Nearly one out of five, 18% would like it to be an hour or less. One out of three people, 33%, thought one and a half hours would work well. And 45% were okay with however long it takes. Okay, we have five cruise news pieces remaining, including the top headlines of the day. But quick question, chime in down below. Speaking of how long main dining lasts on a cruise, I want to turn the question to you as well. So here's the question. How long would you like for main dining to last on a cruise? Would you like it to be A, an hour or less, B, one and a half hours, or C, you are just chill and you're good with however long it takes? Chime in down below with that. would love to know any thoughts that you have on the length of 
dining on a cruise, but now on with the cruise news. Number six, Holland America has announced the details of their Black Friday sale. They will be offering up to 30% off cruise only fares. Holland America will have deals on 800 cruises between this year and 2025. They will also be offering prepaid gratuities, so for a 7 day cruise that is a value of approximately $112 per person. Holland America's Black Friday sale will begin on November 17th and it will run through December 1st. And with some good news, number 7, we have a quick hurricane season update. For one of the first times since hurricane season began on June 1st, things are looking pretty clear near the Americas. There is no cyclone activity expected in the Atlantic in the next 48 hours, and the same is true for the Eastern Pacific. The hurricane season runs through November 30th, so hopefully the rough weather activity will just go away. Moving on to number 8, Margaritaville at Sea has launched their Ultimate Cruise Heroes Pass for 2024. This allows for, quote, unlimited cruises for all military, veterans, law enforcement, first responders, educators, and government healthcare workers. These are two night sailings and the price for the 2024 Heroes Pass is $299. But there are some catches. Know that Margaritaville at Sea has some rough reviews, so don't expect a super nice cruise. And here is a quick rundown of some of the other considerations. One, it does not include other costs such as taxes, fees, port expenses, gratuities, and things of the like. Two, there is an additional booking fee for those that book using this pass. It will be between $29.99 and $49.99 depending on the days of your sailing. Three, there is a list of blackout dates that you can't book. Four, you cannot make reservations for consecutive sailings, so you can't just book for a full week or a full month. Five, you have to book within a tight window. You have to book between 24 hours and 72 hours prior to the departure. Six, the cruises are on a first come first serve basis and the cruises can commonly be filled up, especially by the time you get to that 24 to 72 hour window. So it may be worthwhile if you live near Palm Beach because that is where the ship departs from and you could adjust quickly and go on the cruise. But otherwise, it seems like it could be difficult to manage. Would love to know your thoughts. Next, number nine, Carnival Cruise Lines saved some marriage plans. This young couple was going on their first cruise. They were going to be cruising on the Carnival Splendor out of Sydney, Australia. Everything seemed normal. They dropped off their luggage and they went into the cruise terminal to check in. The young man had a surprise for this cruise. He was going to propose to his girlfriend and the rings were in his luggage. But when they got into the cruise terminal, they realized that something else was in their luggage as well, their passports, so they couldn't board. Immediately, Carnival Cruise Line, they began to search for the luggage so that they could still go, but it was a dramatic several hours. Three hours went by, nothing with the luggage. The final boarding time came and went, nothing with the luggage. But then 45 minutes before the cruise ship's actual sell away, they came through and had the luggage with the passports and the ring. So thanks to Carnival Cruise Line, they made it on the ship and on the second night of the cruise, the young man proposed to his girlfriend and she said yes. And that is a good reminder of one of the biggest tips for cruising and that is you should keep your travel documents and anything else that you cannot go on a cruise without in your carry-on and you should always make sure that they are secured. Then number 10, Virgin Voyages made an alarming mistake on the current sailing of the Valiant Lady cruise ship. The Valiant Lady is currently on a 14-day cruise from Barcelona, Spain to Miami, Florida. And right now the ship is mid-Atlantic, but Virgin Voyages made a mistake that put many passengers on edge. They set off an alarm. The reality is that it was a false alarm. However, the reports are that more than 15 minutes went by before Virgin let the passengers know to disregard. Some passengers said that they knew it was not a real alarm, but other passengers went into a frenzy. Passengers were donning their life jackets and reporting to their muster stations. One passenger said that they put on some swim gear, they put on their life jacket, and they said that they screamed all the way to muster station C7. Thankfully, everyone was okay, and it was definitely some sea day entertainment, and the ship was approaching the Bermuda Triangle, so could there be a connection? We may never know. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video will be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising, and we'll catch you in the next video.